Now, it's not long until we find out who will be getting some of the most prestigious honours in the Commonwealth, either those famous letters after your name and, for the very lucky, a knighthood or damehood. But who might be expected to be rewarded? Well, let's get some predictions now from Mark Llewellyn Slade, an honours and awards expert at Awards Intelligence. He's here with me. Very good morning to you. Morning, Thanks. Nice to see you. Before we get to your predictions, tell us a little bit about this honours system. And the New Year's honours list comes out every year. But, and there's also the, the birthday honours list as well, isn't it? What's the difference between the That's two? Right. Are they the, very similar? No real difference. Around 1,100 people um, will be announced today and around 1,100 in June for the birthday list. And when we talk about honours, we tend to focus on the celebrities, but the vast majority of recipients are what I describe as being extraordinary, ordinary people. So they're people doing great work in the community, for charity, they might be eminent surgeons, academics, entrepreneurs, business leaders boosting the economy. So there really is a broad mix of people but you have to be in it to win it and you can't nominate yourself unfortunately. Yeah, so how do people get chosen? Yeah well you have to put pen to paper somebody has to put you forward it could be a friend a family member even or a business or community contact so they will submit the nomination to the honours and appointments secretariat at the cabinet office and that nomination will then go to one of ten specialist subcommittees. So if it was a doctor being put forward, they go to the health subcommittee. If it was a teacher, they go to education. And those committees um, are, are made up of experts in that field. And they will make a recommendation to the office of the Prime Minister as to what level of honour someone should get, if anything at all. Um, and then um, if the Prime Minister's office agree, then it goes to the palace to be rubber stamped and then the recipient will receive a letter about six weeks before so it would have been like mid-november yeah. so lots of people sitting on a secret right now yes yes and it says something like uh, the king is minded to give you whatever it is obe knighthood whatever and if he were to do so would you accept it and the reason they do that is to spare his blushes because in the past when people used to just get put on the list without being told beforehand, some of them would turn it down because they don't believe in, in, in the royal honours process or they don't believe in the royal family full stop or they have some axe to grind with the government. So it's less likely to be made public if they do turn it down now? Uh, yeah, if they turn it down, then they won't be on the list. Yeah. No, they won't put someone on that says they don't want it. And I want, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to crack on because we haven't got a huge amount of time. I just want to get your predictions now as well. Because uh, let's start with sport, because there's always a, a few sports people that are on there, aren't there? What, what, what do you think? Who do you think might make the list? Mary Earps, the uh, football goalkeeper. I think uh, she was voted uh, FIFA Player of the Year. Um, so I think she's in with a shout. On the business side, Tim Martin, he's the boss of Weatherspoons. He's taken the company from uh, one pub to 875. So he's playing a key role in boosting the economy and uh, employing lots of people, of course. So uh, rumour has it he's going to get a big one, a knighthood. Um, Justin Welby. Um, Archbishop Yes, yeah. indeed, yes. Again, rumour has it that uh, he's going to get a, a gong. A, a big K. OK, and entertainment, in the world of entertainment? Um, nobody in particular is being sort of uh, touted. Um, Robbie Williams, I think, is in with a shout. Um, there's a rumour that he's been offered one and turned it down, um, but uh, who knows? But he's, he's the driving force behind Soccer Aid, of course, which has raised about 75 million for uh, charities. Uh, and Banksy. Another one that... Yeah, uh, that'll be interesting. Would he go and receive a, a, a title if he were to be given one? Yeah, that would be interesting. Absolutely. And reveal himself. Yes, <laughs> yes. Uh, he sold a painting recently for 16 million and gave it all to the NHS, bless him. Yeah, amazing stuff. Well, we find out at 10.30 tonight. Uh, fascinating to get your predictions. Uh, we'll get you back on to find out whether you were right. <laughs> but, um, Mark Llewellyn Slade, thanks very much indeed for your time this morning. We appreciate it. You're welcome. Uh, let's take a look now at the weather. Warm memories wherever you go.